Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Amnesia The Dark Descent. If you post any spoilers on this video, I will throw you in an Egyptian tomb. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Oh, powerful light. Get rid of this darkness. I reached out. Closing it in my hands. Ooh. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Uh oh. I think you did the. Uh, you went to the Lithian homeworld. That's not good for you, sir. Well, the Lithians are the worst people to find. They still are pretty bad, though. There's gotta be something to help me break that wall down. Maybe it's in this treasure chest. No. Okay, it's not. Disappointment abounds. The East Wing. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Yeah, they're expendable. Servants are expendable, we should, uh, let them do everything. Oh. Oops. I didn't mean to spill ink everywhere. My bad. Okay. Oh, man. I really hope I'm not supposed to be, like, memorizing the layout of this stuff. Because if that's the case, I am going to be so screwed. Okay, I can't light that tinderbox on fire. I've got to get through there somehow. But I can't do it by hand. I was told such. I can't move. Okay, I can move again. Maybe I can use this chair. Awesome. Destructive power of chairs, just like in professional wrestling. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Uh huh. Okay, apparently. I wrote something. Some circuit door mechanism in the local history room. Okay, I knew that. Why did, why did you note that? Okay, whatever. I need some light in here. Oh, look at that. I need a light source that's back here. There we go. That works. Sure. I had journal. I need to get in there though. There we go. Oh. This one is also not voice acted. Awesome. Let's see the Altstadt in Brandenburg Castle 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt. 
Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. Blech. The quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes as, as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Okay. Ask any local and you will hear proof hear proof, okay, of the widespread superstition. All such travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Oh my god. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their, by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Oh my god. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known Eurydite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay at the prominent members of... Oh, during his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Ah, uh, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at a castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of the noble birth, most of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Research in the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman of, from the Rhinelands, claiming the role of protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Interesting, okay. So there's a lot of superstitions around this castle by the locals.